guys, welcome back to Brat Bros. It's been a while since I posted, so I thought it'd be a good day to uh, update on what's going on. So the project right now is this 1980s Chevy Scottsdale. And this is gonna be a uh, project mud truck for Drummond Island. So this is a really crappy truck we got for 250. It's kind of the story. So, no bad. The previous owner used it for plowing and we didn't get a plow with it. So the idea why we bought it was for the motor. We wanted to use that in the willies, which is right there. So instead we're gonna use uh, this at Drummond Island and we're gonna have a bunch of fun. We're gonna bring this this truck and the black Chevy right there. And we're bringing these cause we don't care about them. We don't wanna bring something, you know, good or something that we care about. So right now, so we had it running. I took it out in the field, way out back there and so we had it running and it seemed good, but we wanted to do some upgrades to keep it reliable. So uh, dad's working on getting a carburetor for it. He's gonna buy one pretty soon. We'll put this plate on there, an adapter plate, because it's got two small holes in the front and big in the back. So when the carb, the one I had would hit and it wouldn't open all the way. So. Getting a new car for that. Um, it's a three speed auto. And it's got four wheel drive. So we're going to be using four wheel low right there a lot. And it should be beat the crap out of this thing. Door doesn't freaking work. But so we got a radiator in there. I don't know when we left off, but. The radiator is full of coolant. Um, Dad just took the alternator to the shop and it's working because last time we took it out, it like died and we're like, what the heck? So we think it drained the battery of, for spark. So we gotta, I gotta hook those wires up right there and the alternator will be all set. And then it goes right there. Um, we're working on exhaust too. Let me show you underneath here. So there's currently no exhaust on it and I'm not going to start it up because it's pretty loud, but there's an exhaust pipe right there and there will be one that comes down here. Um, they were both like just dangling there. So the idea is we have flex pipe. They're both going to run up in the frame some more but they're on back and then they'll come out like right here and we'll have two mufflers one here one there um, just cheap old mufflers we have one that came with the truck we're gonna run duels on this bad boy and oh they might not come up here because we don't have enough exhaust pipe so we're thinking right right um up in there right behind transfer case and yeah we're gonna have some fun with this stuff so um not dead yet because i didn't post anything for a long time it's been like a week but we've been busy here i've been busy with school so just like an update on this and we're gonna keep working on it and we're thinking in the next three or four days, should be ready to rock. We gotta put the drive shaft in, and we'll have four-wheel drive. And one thing I might touch on later is the wheels. The wheels suck. They're awful in mud. They look pretty good, but they're not. So one idea Dad and I had was we have a ton of chains like nice kind of small chains. 
So we're thinking about putting chains on the tires. Right there. And then like have them like every foot or so on the tire. And we're not sure how to like hook them on there yet, but we might just weld them on the, like weld them on the wheel. So that could be a possibility. So just a little update here and um, trying to keep you posted. Doom buggy is coming along. We just got a journal bearing for the middle, right in there. So that it will help support it. And things are coming along here, so stick around. We might have this bad boy running. One more thing I want to touch on. Spring break's coming up. Um, I'm going to be, like, busy a lot. So I don't know if we'll post on spring break, but just stay tuned for that. Peace.